Scientists say governments need to act now to save the Great Barrier Reef. New research has found more than 90% of it has been bleached at least once. And as the bleaching becomes more frequent, it's harder for the coral to recover. From above, coral bleaching on the Great Barrier Reef is easy to see. To determine just how bad it's been this year, scientists have started a fresh round of aerial surveys. It seems to be much more of a central Great Barrier Reef phenomenon, but we don't yet know the northern or the southern boundary. We need to get up in the airplane for seven days and map it all out. More than a thousand reefs will be surveyed over the coming weeks. It follows new research showing since the first mass bleaching was recorded on the reef in 1998, more than 90% of the natural wonder has been bleached at least once. Yellow is 10 to 30% bleached, orange up to 60, and red shows the most extreme. Scientists say the gap between bleachings is getting shorter, giving coral less time to recover. They say it highlights an urgent need to act on climate change. Our study shows that local action is not enough. You cannot climate-proof the Great Barrier Reef, we actually have to deal with greenhouse gas emissions. Residents on holiday hotspot Magnetic Island are also noticing coral bleaching. They're worried about what it means for their local tourism industry. Listening in to some international tourists who clearly understood what were happening and were discussing in German what they were seeing and how disappointed they not only were for their own personal experience of not seeing a reef, the World Heritage Committee is expected to discuss the reef status later this year. It's being urged not to place the natural wonder on the in danger list. I think not putting the reef on, on the in danger list um, basically maintains the motivation to improve the protection of the reef. Uh, I'm certainly not ready to give up on the Great Barrier Reef. We still have time to do a better job. But time is running out. David Chen, ABC News, Townsville.